Silverleaf whitefly become a major pest of cotton. Since the first outbreak of this insect in Emerald and Central Queensland in 2001, it's subsequently spread throughout the industry and now commonly occurs as far south as Griffith in New South Wales. Silverleaf whitefly are quite different to the other pests that we manage in cotton. The feeding from this insect doesn't directly damage the crop in the numbers that we typically see. However, it's the excretion of honeydew, which is a byproduct of that feeding, that can contaminate the lint. The reason lint contaminated with silverleaf whitefly honeydew is such a problem is that it contains a sugar called trehellulose. Trehellulose has a very low melting point, so that lint contaminated with this sugar, when it finds its way into gins and spinning mills and comes into contact with hot moving parts, can melt and cause the cotton to become very sticky, rendering it impossible to process. The discounts associated with trehellulose are severe. Once lint has been contaminated with this sugar, there's very little that a processor can do to eliminate it, and therefore those discounts can find their way back to the grower quite some time after the cotton has been picked. It's the production of honeydew by both the adults and linful stages of this pest, and our need to preempt the contamination of lint that makes silverleaf whitefly quite a difficult pest to manage in some seasons. If you spray too soon, you may find yourself back in the crop before the end of the season spraying a second time. If you don't spray early enough, you can end up with contaminated lint. You have to assess where your crop is at and at what stage it is and how close you are to defoliation. Sometimes silverleaf whitefly can move in from a neighbouring field that's been defoliated. So there are a lot of variables that are in the mix that are going to influence the type of products that you use and when you might apply them. In the following videos, we'll cover some of these complexities in more detail, which will help you to arrive at better silverleaf whitefly management decisions.